Hi. Hi everyone. Welcome to yet another edition of Let's Talk Design. I'm just waiting for our guest to log in. Thank you all for being here. If you have any question on today's session, please do drop them in the comment box. There is also a section for questions here right at the bottom. There's a question mark symbol. Uh, please do drop in your questions there. We'll be talking about stone as a reflection of culture and context. And we have with us uh, Studio Lagom. Uh, and we have Hardik Shah from the Studio Lagom who will be sharing his inputs on, uh, on stone and how stone is a reflection of culture today. So uh, we'll start as soon as possible. I'm just waiting for Studio Lagom to join in. Thank you, everybody. I'm just going to check if they're logging in soon. If you have any questions, please do drop them in the... Please do drop them in the comment box. I'm just trying to text them and see if they're... They've logged in already. They haven't actually. <coughs> I will not be able to accept any other live requests. I'm sorry about that. I'm getting a couple of requests here. I will not be able to take those up. I can only accept a request from our guest for today. So if, uh, I think they should be here shortly. Uh, thank you for being patient and thank you for logging in. I hope you guys are having a good day and just waiting for our guest to log in. I think they're stuck somewhere we can't get connected. So I'm going to actually uh, take any questions until our guest uh, logs in. If anybody wants to talk about stone or they have any questions, they can drop in. Yes, A-Class has all ranges of marble available. Please feel free to visit us. We have a new experience center. Uh, it's open for everybody. We are following all... Uh, all norms of social distancing, all protocols, feel free to drop by. You can even book an appointment to ensure that you're taken care of. Yes, there we are. So... Hi. Hi. How are you? I am good. How are you? I am fine too. Yes. Hi. Yes. So thank you, Hardik, <sighs> for joining us. Uh, I'll give a quick introduction to you in the studio. So uh, Hardik Shah is the founder and principal architect at Studio Lagom, a Surat-based design practice. He believes 
that architecture strikes the right balance between less and more. Studio Lagom aims to create spaces for lifestyle and culture that are geared towards modern demands, yet acknowledge the cultural roots as sustainable factors. The work includes various typologies from residential projects, compelling retail spaces, spa sustainable furniture, experiential restaurants, inspiring institutional spaces, and many more. Thank you, Hardik, for being with us on this series of Let's Talk Design. Uh, today's theme is stone, how stone is a reflection of culture and context. So I have a few questions. I'll quickly run through those. And Yes, uh, thanks, first of all, to inviting me okay, for this great. wonderful session. Yeah. So uh, <coughs> talking about culture and its relevance in design, how do you think, how does stone helps you as a studio to reflect this ideology in your work? Okay. Uh, first of all, stone is like, you know, very uh, like uh, touch and feel kind of a material. Okay. And it is, it, it, it has a canvas of uh, like uh, whatever you are putting on top. So I consider like, you know, stone is the one kind of a canvas, uh, which you are like, you know, laying down and then your base uh, paint. Okay. For any painting. And then on top of it, you can overlay a lot of your stuff. So then your entire role comes into the picture. So it's very much important, like what is your base then? Right, right. So uh, how do you think then stone contributes to spatial experiences? Okay. So uh, I feel that the stone is one material which you feel with the texture, with the uh, their uh, uh, color and it will change the entire space into the different modes. So if you use like, you know, something like a dark color stone, it will be a very uh, uh, warm kind of a space. And if you use a light or uh, any other with the, uh, with have the, their own self pattern uh, in that mm -hmm. stone, like some, some of the Italian stone, if you use the mm -hmm. Armani, it's have the, you know, uh, golden uh, glitter is thing when it's, uh, mm -hmm. you know, littered from top. Okay, so during the night, you can see all those things, even the orange lines into it. So uh, those kind of things, it will change the entire ambience of that space. So if it, if, if you consider like, you know, if you're using in a uh, room or living space or a toilet, so mm -hmm. each space required a certain kind of ambience. And according to that, you need to choose the certain stone. Right. So can you give some examples of how you have used different stones for different spaces? Okay, so like if, if the space is like, you know, uh, kind of a, a smaller, but still I want like, you know, warm kind of a feeling. Okay, so I can use, you know, some of the dark stone or dark color stone, which have mm -hmm. the uh, very mild, uh, uh, like figures into it. So now mm -hmm. it's like, you know, a kind of uh, visual you need to appear to that. And then the different kind of a polish you can use. So like if it is a small room or something, then you can, you know, uh, use the very shiny kind of a polish. So it will, you know, uh, make the space bigger. It will reflect the whatever there on top of it during the night time. Also, it will reflect the light. So it will, it will give you the better look. Right, right. So, uh, uh, okay. So also, do you think that changes from space to space? Yes, exactly. If the same stone uh, I need to use in a toilet, then it will be in a, in a different manner. Then the light mode is different. So it's uh, it's change uh, according to the space to space. Okay. Mm. So that is definitely there, but not like, you know, very vastly because it's mm -hmm. not like, you know, sampling kind of a thing. So like, you know, if you are using certain things in the living and the dining area, it's a different kind of a space. But in a bedroom, it's a different and the toilet, you can, you know, continue the same thing. Like if it is a, uh, that same bedroom toilet is there. So, but you can, you know, you can uh, use the different finishes right? with that right. same stone. Okay. So when you are picking up stones for your designs, right, what are the particular characteristics that you look for? And if you could share some examples, that would be useful. See, one is the strength of the stone. Hmm. Uh, another is the texture because I always uh, feel like, you know, stone is one thing which you always feel with the texture rather than the, you know, uh, 
like uh, color is important but the texture because whatever the our leftover part which is our walking part in the house or mm. a, any kind of a building okay mm. because the rest of the things are you know uh, like covered with the furniture or a, uh, like uh, or a carpets or whatever so like whatever you are putting on top of it okay so it's always like you know uh, your uh, feel should be there so i say, i usually prefer like uh, you know the little bit kind of a uh, matte finish uh, stone because mm-hmm. i feel the textured uh, and uh, the if you are using the marble then it's not like you know fully polished it, it's right. kind of a semi polished or a leather yeah. leather finish kind of a uh, marble i usually prefer Right. because i like the dull dull uh, texture of it yes yes so in fact that brings me to my next question in your work you use a lot of materials in their raw form right exactly the way they are and you talk about context you know and its relevance in design how do you think stone helps you bring out that sort of natural rawness of materials and uh, also the importance of context here okay so uh, we are uh, living in the you know the tropical kind of a country so we have our country is tropical country the second thing is we have a lot of stone available in uh, uh, in our own country and uh, like you know we are importing also so uh, through the stone uh, we need to bring lot of uh, like uh, characteristic of the house which they you cannot know, you know transfer into the contemporary manner and yeah. uh, rustic look of the stone is always you know uh, long lasting because right. if you just uh, you know polished it it will it, it is always for the certain time okay mm-hmm. then the top material is like you know gone by use by use and then mm-hmm. uh, like you know it will be uh, like semi finished kind of a semi polished kind of a finish you will get it so why mm-hmm. not you can use the that kind of a rustic uh, look only mm-hmm. from the starting mm-hmm. okay and it will help us for the uh, the second thing is in our uh, uh, like context like you know we are living always in the joint family so we have the children to the uh, like you know the senior people also in the house so why not the rustic look is always like you know better for their use because sometimes they get you know fall because of it's like very slippery very polished kind of a stuff so why not the rustic because uh, i feel that rusticness should be there even a uh, lot of uh, our old building palaces even the temples also have the that kind of a rustic uh, look it's not fully polished it's like semi polished kind of a thing so why not that kind of a, a feel we can you know uh, bring into the house also and we can transfer into the contemporary man you can do lot of inlay also so i i usually prefer to do a little inlay like to know you know give the identity of the uh, mm. like uh, the certain space and like you mm. know the boundary of that part and it look look like a carpet the second thing is uh, why we do the like inlay in the like you know marble or certain stone if you are like doing the semi polish it will highlight your that mm. glittering part will be highlight so rather than you know you can polish the marble you can do the inlay into it it will you know enhance the entire your marble beauty right that's that sounds really really interesting uh do you uh, could you do you want to talk about anywhere any place any space or product where you thought that you know you stone is the only material that would have justified its use no other material would have been more appropriate than stone uh any like you know if if you consider uh, like some of the public building i consider mm. like you know you know in a public place also like mm. uh, uh, uh then the uh, stone is the one material which is long lasting okay right. the another thing is you can get the stone in a different different thickness so that is also important so if you are using in a public uh, building or a public place where you are mm. using the stone that thickness should be more so like you know it, it's it's a very very strong material it is non brittle sure yeah that makes sense so in in your projects obviously stone the choice of stone is an you know plays an important role and it also has to be within budgets when it comes to using good stone you know what are the stones that you would recommend to our audience here keeping a budget in mind 
see uh, like i always suggest everyone have a different kind of a budget range then the so you can select the any stone which is good because all stone have the different kind of character if the stone is soft you can mold it yeah. you can make the you know the molding uh, out of it and then you can do the coving you can do the rounding on the edge mm. so uh, it's not about the i don't consider the like you know the budget is the one constraint because mm. everyone have a different kind of a budget and different kind of a liking so sure. see if if certain people have the budget of like you know the uh, or money also then why not their beauty mm. is totally different than the you know the uh anything between the same kind of a color tone or same kind of a range so i prefer that better right. so uh like uh, i just share one experience uh long back i want to use the black stone and the client is like you know confused between the why uh, like he wants to use the marble or a green like you know the local granite uh stone so then the client only decide you know i don't want to use the marble because i don't want any shiny finish not a, like you know too much shiny also and not like you know semi polished also so that's why he choose the granite so mm-hmm. there the con- like you know the main part is not the budget it's like about the client like you know the liking and their choice so yeah. we have yeah. the choice uh, in the same color but the the one is the marble and another is the granite right right that makes a lot of sense okay uh, thank you so much that was super super useful uh if if you had one i mean we are following the hashtag uh, let's talk design right so if you had one thing to say about the use of stone in design and especially today since we are talking about culture as well what would that yeah. one statement be i think we need to camouflage the uh, the uh, new uh, material the stone with the contemporary manner and that is the our like you know the uh, uh, like uh, since uh, history is it's we are using it so uh, you know it's 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 nothing like you know uh, related to directly to the culture but it's related to the context right. where we are right. living so that is much more important and if i was to ask you about one stone that resonates with you and your personality right which is reflective of you what would that stone be oh uh, it's a uh, i love the great avertine and the uh, armani okay okay great so thank you so much the, both the stone and then i like the definitely any black stone i like it <laughs> okay. thank you hardik thank you for uh, being a part of this session uh, we have a question here which is uh, uh, what what stone can be used for kitchen platforms what stones would you recommend i rep- i recommend the granite any time it's better granite okay okay great i i don't think we have any more questions but thank you so much for being a part of uh, let's talk design series by a class uh this year a class has celebrated 50 years of being in the industry and oh great uh, uh, as a gesture of gratitude for you being a part of our the a class journey uh they will be planting a tree on your behalf so oh, thank you okay. so much Uh, you'll Thank be getting you. a certificate you'll be getting a certificate for the tree plantation and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again great Thank great you so much. yeah Thanks. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you yeah yeah bye bye, bye.